now I want to get into your foundation because yep. that also will really launch the foundation. So Oak, um, as you, you were talking about, passes away in both you and the Hinkles. Now to clarify, you both have foundations because that kind of gets confusing sometimes. We, we've talked about in the past. So. Yeah. Um, but you guys, what is the exact name of your foundation? So we started Mighty Oaks Heart Foundation and we started the organization when Oaks was alive. Um, uh, he, so the kind of the, the story about the foundation is, you know, like I mentioned, we knew while I was pregnant, he was going to be born with this heart defect, um, thought we were preparing or wrapping our brains around it, which I, I just don't think in hindsight, you really can get ready for anything like that. Um, so he's born, <clears throat> he's in the hospital, um, multiple open heart surgeries, um, endless trips to the cath lab, just every little thing that maybe they said this could go wrong. It seems like went wrong. Um, but there were um, so many just uh, blessings that, mm -hmm. that really came from his life. So even on his hardest day in the hospital, um, it was really humbling, really eye-opening to be at Children's Hospital for a year and a half. You just You just see a lot of heartache and you see families like ours, good people, normal people, um, people making really good choices in life and living good lives and just bad things happen. Mm -hmm. um, and so what was so eye-opening to me was um, befriending other families in the Heart Center and meeting people from all over the Midwest, um, all over the U.S. who had come to Children's for care. And, um, you know, we lived 10 minutes from the hospital. Like I've said, Greg owns his own company. We've, we've got a house. We've got two cars. We've got money. We've got few worries financially. Um, and so I'm meeting these families who, you know, one mom I'm still dear friends with is here from Michigan. Her kid is on life-saving life support for weeks and weeks. Dad is back in Michigan because he has to work because they need insurance and they need to pay their mortgage and all the things. And so she's here alone by his bedside, like praying and bartering with God and begging and, you know, just like surviving, hanging on really. Um, and, and as a parent, when your kid is critically ill, you, you just sort of I I can only speak for myself. At that time, I was like, it's okay if we lose everything. It's okay if we declare bankruptcy. It's okay. I, I don't care. I just need to be here with my kid. Like, your child is your number one priority. My, it was mine. Hey, thanks for uh, watching this short with us today. And if you like it, check out our full episodes on our uh, channel and website. Uh, we'll put those in the links below. And as always, Scott... Like and subscribe, or subscribe and then like, whatever order you want, really. Whatever order you like. Yeah. Thanks.